Okay, so it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving, and because us crazies and Jews and evil five-year-olds are told that they're not allowed to ever leave their cage because they're bad people and need to be locked in a mental institution, which is still a little mind-boggling to me that my family with the psychology community and the judicial system have been hunting me since five years old, trying to make me look crazy and lock me in some sort of cage like they do their animals. Um, but also, my reckless and out of control behavior of leaving my house during coronavirus. So as you can see here, uh, nobody is out here at the beach. Um, there's nobody out here. There's nobody out here at the beach, and I'm hunting them because I think I'm James Bond, um, trying to get answers to why Thanksgiving exists, and um, that's what's going on here. So everyone worldwide needs to get together and make me look crazy because I'm crazy for leaving my house after five years old and eradicate my existence with the judicial system. So right now, according to the psychology community, the judicial system, and everyone else working with them, helping them for some strange reason to try to make me look crazy, because if you find out people are trying to make you look crazy to lock you in a mental institution out of hate and rage, that clearly means that you're crazy, right? I mean, there's no such thing as mean people out there. There's no such thing as criminals out there. There's no such thing as psychotic murderers out there. And there's no such thing as people with psychology degrees trying to make people look crazy to rid them of the world because they might have too much information. Anyways, so here I am for Thanksgiving. I'm at the beach by the ocean. And if I'm at the beach by the ocean, I must be committing a crime. Or if I buy a Corvette, I must be committing a crime. Or if I teach myself how to build car engines at 16, I must be committing a crime. I need to be put in a mental institution because nobody on this planet ever builds cars and nobody on this planet ever goes to car meetups and nobody on this planet ever buys Corvettes and nobody, nobody would ever go to the beach on Thanksgiving. See, there's nobody here but me. Uh, there's nobody here but me and a bunch of imaginary friends that are, that are here. There's no, there's no real people here, okay? So right now I'm committing a reckless out of control crime on Thanksgiving by going to the beach. Uh, and also there's, a, there's a, almost a full moon up there. I don't know, the, a three quarter moon, whatever, up there. So I must be committing a crime because I might turn into a werewolf and hurt all these people so I'm a danger to myself or others, right? Okay, so anyways, the point is that while people are at John Way, John Elway Chevy sabotaging my Corvette engine, while car mechanic after car mechanic are trying to steal all my money for buying a new car, while people are trying to make it look like I'm stealing their money who walk up and say, Kevin, I'll help you because I want to do this for you and things like that. Um, Why lawyers are calling me, threatening my life for calling them up saying, John Elway just destroyed a $20,000 engine after me getting an oil change. You better not call any lawyers out here in Denver or we'll fucking kill you or try to rid you of the world. Um, that's perfectly normal, right? I mean, I shouldn't be allowed to call the cops if someone wants me dead. I shouldn't be allowed to call a lawyer to civilly sue for damages if someone's destroying my cars and my life and my reputation. Those are all crimes, according to the psychology community. Um, I don't have a grasp on reality. Well. How are they getting that information that from these strangers with psychology degrees that I don't have a grasp on reality before I ever meet them? And when I try to tell them what's really happening, they tell me I'm not allowed to talk or they're going to lock me away. Uh, what else? Hey, maybe it's Thanksgiving. Maybe someone will. Maybe I think that someone will give something to me. Or better yet, 
maybe someone is trying to make me look crazy and tell everyone that that's what I think. Because I just had a conversation with a random stranger mad at me for going to car meetups, getting back into cars and hot rods, trying to make it look like I'm committing a crime by going to car, car meetups and associating with like-minded people that love cars. And the first question that came to my mind is how does this random stranger out here at the beach know about me going to car meetups and why are random, why are random loonies following me from car meet to car meet saying weird freaky shit and trying to make me look crazy and when I say nothing but listen to what they say they somehow think I'm like them okay and that goes right back to me being eight years old Tom Farley in his bathroom saying Kevin there's an alien in my bathroom and me not saying anything just like whatever dude and since eight years old, Tom Farley, I'm 48 years old, that's 40 years, Tom Farley has been running around with worldwide groups saying I'm crazy and saw an alien in his bathroom when I never said a damn thing. But like, what the fuck's this guy talking about? Okay, so if Tom Farley says, Kevin, there's an alien in my bathroom, and I don't say anything, I don't agree with him, then clearly I must have saw an alien in his bathroom. Or wait, is it a guy that was contacted by my father saying, I don't like my five-year-old, rid him at the, of the world at all costs. Okay, so anyways, once again, back on topic. I'm out here, it's Thanksgiving. I'm gonna chill at the beach. I'm gonna watch the angry, enraged loonies and nut jobs follow me from place to place like they've been doing since I was five years old, believe it or not. Kelly Hatch told to follow me up to Southern, State, Southern Ashland, Oregon, Southern Oregon State College rid me of the world. Russians like Val Morozov paid off to have me executed and killed, taking me to strip clubs when I was at University of Colorado. Uh, Eric Christensen at Southern Oregon State College paid off to take me to strip clubs working with San Diego Police Department. What the fuck does San Diego Police Department even have to do with Southern Oregon State College? Interesting. Stranger after stranger, four people told to take me to strip clubs to figure out how to execute me, kill me, lock me in mental institutions. Lawyer after lawyer told not to be honest and help me and give a truthful argument that these people are all full of shit and want me dead. Okay, but anyways, aside from that, I'm going to commit tonight's crime where people are going to follow me here, trying to make me look crazy, trying to set me up, trying to get reactions, trying to make it look like a violent paranoid schizo at the beach here where nobody is, nobody's here, I'm a reckless, he's hey. hey look, hey I'm talking, okay so I'm a reckless, out of control, crazy man because there's coronavirus out here, there's, there's coronavirus out here and since I have left my house I'm reckless and out of control, Okay. and nobody's out here, you so, you from Target? Yeah, Kevin for on Target, so people from mass groups stalking me, trying to make you me look crazy. Find that grass off. What? Wait, I can hear you. Delete that shit for I knock grass off. Oh, okay. So we're out here, oh. and oh, so this is it. Cause either bro, he's about to sock you. Oh, why? You don't like me talking to him? Okay. What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? Go ahead. Go ahead. You go ahead. Do you want me to call the cops, dude? No. Okay, no, so leave me alone. Privacy, I'm not, but you went. Oh, you walked up to me. I'm just sitting here minding my own business. You got it fucked up. You're over here ready to take notes, homie. I'm talking to myself in a camera, and everyone knows that. Come on, bro. Take it easy on us. I'm not doing it. I'm minding my own business. Look, I have no problem with you. I don't even know who I'm you are. I'm not a lot, bitty citizen. <laughs> oh, you can. I'm a cholo. <laughs> are you guys in a gang or something? I'll take your no. car and beat you up. Fool. But you ain't trying to fucking record other fools. Do what? The
Okay, so there you go. For example. Okay, so these guys are sort of starting to threaten me. Um, but. <sighs> What's wrong? <laughs> What's wrong? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Do you want me to call the cops, dude? No. Okay, so leave me alone. Our privacy, homie. I'm not, but you no, went, you walked up to me. I'm just us. sitting here minding my own business. You got it fucked up. You're over here videotaping us, homie. I'm talking to myself on a camera, and everyone knows that. All right, then get the fuck out of here, homie. Yes, Come on, bro. Make it easy on us. I'm not doing it. I'm minding my own business. Look, I have no problem with you. I don't even know who I'm you are. I'm not a law bitty citizen. <laughs> oh, you can. I'm a cholo. <laughs> well, homie, you are you guys in a gang or something? I'll take your no. car and beat you up. But do you to try to fucking record other fools? Do what? The fool. Okay, so there you go, for example.
Hi, I just had a threat. I just pulled up to the beach here on Pacific Coast Highway. Um, I have a threat. Um, some guys walked up to me and told me I had better leave uh, PCH and it's their beach. No, PC Pacific Coast Highway um, on on the side of the road and some guys pulled up and said uh, you better leave the beach. Hi, I, I just pulled up the PCH, a group of, of Hispanics walked up to me while I got out of my car and said, you better leave the beach, this is our beach. Uh, kind of by, off Topanga Canyon and PCH. Yeah, they kept threatening me over and over. They just started to walk away, but a lot of times they'd come back and things like that, and the large groups come back with them. Uh, yeah, and actually, um, uh, he just started walking that way, but anyways, he's on video and audio recorded as well and things like this, so. Okay, uh, okay, well, you, I mean, I, I do the situation a lot. Maybe you should just come out because I do the situation a lot and then the next guy comes out and he says, why didn't you call the first time and things like this and... Okay, so I guess, but just note that this call is recorded and through 911 and, okay, so, alright. Okay, right, bye bye. Nine one one. What are you reporting? Hi, I just had a threat. I just pulled up to the beach here on Pacific Coast Highway. Um, I have a threat. Um, some guys walked up to me, and told me I had better leave. Uh, PCH, and it's their. Are beach. you a bus at a business or a resident? No, PC Pacific Coast Highway. Um, on on the side of the road, and some guys pulled up and said, uh, "You better leave the beach." Hold on one moment. Nine one, what's your emergency? Hi, I, I just pulled up the PCH. A group of of uh, Hispanics walked up to me while I got out of my car and said, "You better leave the beach. This is our beach." Uh, kind of by off Topanga Canyon and PCH. Okay, is that all? They, is that what they said? Yeah, they kept threatening me over and over. They just started to walk away, but a lot of times they come back and things like that, and large groups come back with them. Okay, would you like to have someone come out? Uh, yeah, and actually, um, uh, he just started walking that way, but anyways, he's on video and audio recorded as well and things like this, so. Okay, if they come back, definitely call us. We'll get someone Okay. Okay, well, okay, well you, I mean, I, I do the situation a lot. Maybe you should just come out because... I do the situation a lot, and then the next guy comes out and he says, "Why didn't you call the first time?" and things like this. And yeah, I mean, unless something happens, if they're walking away, it's okay. So I okay. guess, but just note that this call is recorded and through nine one one. And okay, so yeah. all right, not a problem. Take care. Okay, bye. Okay, so this is kind of like round two here. We just had some threats. We had some threats from those dudes that didn't like me talking into my camera, joking around on Thanksgiving here. The same thing's playing out like the Long Beach attacks for putting a sign on the ground, all lives matter. You know, I'm just out for Thanksgiving, ruining all these people's lives by standing here in isolation, joking around about what's being done to my life. And so I'm ruining everyone's life. Um, so we just had some threats uh, that I better not be here. This is their beach. Uh, I called 911. They didn't want to come out, but I made them because the guy hasn't physically attacked me yet or whatever. So be it. I I let them know that that is audio recorded in the 911 systems, just like Bailey Bernard, that I called on Bailey Bernard. 
Um, because they always try to turn it around. Why didn't Kevin call the cops? And they've been playing this card since I was five years old, trying to cover it all up. Um, there are, actually are several people linked to this guy in more sub subtle stalking tactics, and I'm not going to go into it because I have so much video of the gang stalking, gaslighting tactics, which they're trying to make literals that gangs are about gangs. Gang stalking is about gangs. It has nothing to do with gangs. Any any sane, normal person can understand the, the wording of gaslighting or gang stalking or community harassment groups. So um, they're going to try to turn around. I'm making them stalk me. Uh, we've also had weird strangers mad at me for going to car meetups with hot rodders, talk, getting back in the cars from when I was 16, following me from place to place, trying to make me look crazy. Uh, I'm sure none of this has to do with covering up the fact that this has been going on nonstop from stranger to stranger. We, we got to make Kevin look crazy with Dr. Ronald Barry Perlman to rid him of the world and lock him in a mental institution. Okay, so we're here. Um, on Thanksgiving, um, people mad at me for leaving my house. The same thing that I found out was going on at 29 with Mike Huntley's death threats. He's given Mike me enough rope to hang myself with. World of paranoia. I'm a dead man. He's using the system against me. I don't have the right to exist. Go to my father because my father wanted me to tell him, like give him a confession or something like this to find out that my father pretty much paid off Mike Huntley to end my life. Um, why would all these people here protect some douchebag piece of shit Mike Huntley that is paid off to execute 14 year olds? I don't know. This starts at five. It starts at people like Tom Farley running around saying that I supposedly saw an alien when he said it. Then it switches to Kevin's a schizo. Then it switches to Kevin's paranoid. But anyways, we're going to hang here at the beach. Although we have had a death threat or a threat, I had better leave the beach. It's their beach. The cops were called. They're not coming out. Call them again if something continues. The cops are probably going to play the game they usually play. This Kevin's crazy and it didn't happen, yet it's all on video. We have a guy there saying, erase the video. Like he walks into my camera as I'm joking around. Erase the video. Erase the video. Okay. So each event that everyone's gonna get together and say that I'm making them, I'm making, I'm, I'm making them hunt me. I'm making them stalk me, I'm making them hunt me, I'm making them try to make me look crazy. I don't have the right to leave my house. I'm a horrible monster. Anyways, we're here on Thanksgiving and I think I was saying they're probably telling the world that I'm supposed to be given something on Thanksgiving and I'm crazy or something like this because they're insane. Um, and I just wanted to kind of note, uh, I just wanted to note while these people are running around saying I'm crazy, they're, they're crazy. Well, <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. People, let me break it down, what's uh, going on? Yeah. Anytime you have a soul, see, there's very few people in the world with souls. Most of the people that we're around, uh, look up organic portals, you know about that, right? Organic what? Organic portals. Portals. Those are humans. See, certain humans have individual souls. Yeah, the vast majority of people uh -huh. don't have individual souls. Instead, they share a hive mind consciousness that comes from an old soul. Okay. That's why people like the United States. Wasn't there a movie person. lately with something about portals or something? Organic portals. Oh, organic. Okay, so anyway, good talking. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Okie dokie. All right, so there you go. Um, the crazy person saying Kevin's not crazy game, and then she's talking about portals, organic portals, and I'm supposed to. Oh, there's portals? Okay, and then what is she really doing? She's trying to make me look crazy. Okay, but let's get back to point the topic that I was saying everyone thinks someone's crazy and while these crazy loons that are hunting me since five years old are saying I'm crazy they're crazy psychotic uh, paranoid murderers um, the difference is whether someone is crazy or not crazy 
I'm not following people around trying to end their existence. They're following me from five years old mass groups trying to end my existence and then say, well, Kevin's crazy. Okay, so they're following me around in groups going saying, Kevin's crazy and he doesn't have the right to live, exist, or breathe. And when I say these people are crazy, I'm just minding my own business. You see what I'm saying? So, so the difference is they think I'm crazy. I know they're crazy, but I'm just out minding my own business and they're stalking me and hunting me since five years old in mass worldwide groups at this point. Okay, so I'm gonna try to chill out and enjoy some Thanksgiving at the beach. Now some loonies are gonna run around saying, I'm at the beach because of a girl or I'm at the beach because of organic portals or something, right? Organic portals. Now maybe this chick just wants to get on video so she's acting like an ass puppet. I don't know. But the point is that, that um, the point that you just, Okay, so this is becoming into a simple video ordeal here. I'm ran out of storage space on my phone. Uh, this girl's talking about organic portals, but the guy she sort of rode by on a bike is sort of being a dick. Like, I can't. I didn't. I wasn't really listening to what he said, but he had kind of like a sarcastic, angry man comment or bro. I don't. I don't know. It was a very it was an innuendo comment. She's talking about organic portals. Probably wanting attention, probably wanting to get on my video, but at the same time, probably trying to make me look crazy like, oh, there's portals? Okay, now like Tom Farley at eight years old, like Tom Farley at eight years old, hey, Kevin, there's aliens in my bathroom, and meet me like, what the fuck's this bozo talking about? I never say anything. I said I never ran around for 40 years going, I saw an alien when I was eight years old. Tom Farley's running around for 40 years going, Kevin saw an alien and we need to lock him away. Okay, so do you really think that Tom Farley thinks I'm crazy if he's following me around and notifying mass groups that Kevin's crazy and lock him in a mental institution? Or do you think it's based on hate and rage and jealousy that I don't like Kevin, so I'm going to rid him in the world? Okay, now the point is that whether I'm crazy, I'm not crazy, whether Tom Farley thinks I'm crazy, why is the guy actively following me from place to place with other people going Why is Tom Barley following me for 40 years with mass strangers notifying them Kevin's crazy and he doesn't have the right to be in society because if I don't like Tom Barley and I walk away from him shouldn't it stop there that you're a fucking nut I don't want to be around you and he keeps coming after me with mass groups and mass strangers and people in the psychology community, right? Um, you get the idea that that's not about someone thinking someone's crazy because when I see someone that believes in organic portals, I couldn't give a flying fuck. Uh, go believe in organic portals, go believe, go believe in, um, you have a you you have a relationship with this rock here, and you're talking to this rock. I really don't fucking care, and I don't have the time. Okay, so the difference, the point I'm making about crazy. These random strangers for 43 years who are stalking me, trying to put me in a mental institution with the judicial system and psychology community, say I'm crazy, and I don't have the right to exist. And I'm saying they are clearly fucking crazy, the stalking nuts. But I'm not doing, I'm not hunting them. They're hunting me since five years old. You see what I'm saying? I'm just out trying to live my life. And today is a perfect example. Kevin's at the beach. He, I want to be out of my house for Thanksgiving. I, I would like to be social with people, but you can't when they're told, try to make Kevin look crazy. And here we go again, right? Okay, Kevin's the bad guy for leaving his house because mass groups are trying to rid him of the world. And the judicial system doesn't want me saying anything about anything. And it ends up on video. And once again, just like the Long Beach attacks, which are on video, we have a reoccurring pattern here of we don't want you here, there, anywhere else. And people even following me up to like car meetups, trying to make me look crazy and mad at me for buying a new car to get back into cars. 
which is everything that's going on I'm doing is harmless and everything they're doing are crimes. Okay, so anyways, I'm gonna end it here. I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy Thanksgiving at the beach. Uh, probably my family and mass groups and psychology community are running around saying I'm waiting for a girl or something like this because I left my house and went to the beach. And then maybe if I go to car meetups, they're gonna say the same thing, it's because of a girl. And then maybe if I start a business, they're gonna say it's because of a girl. And then next thing, and next thing, and next thing. Wait, why are these things changing from thing to thing? I mean, if you think I'm crazy, you gotta have a, a valid argument based on a specific argument that this, this event occurred and you can't keep changing your reasoning every every hour, right? Okay, with that being said, I'm sure... Okay, that being said, I'm reckless and out of control because nobody comes out during coronavirus. See, nobody, nobody's outside. Nobody... No, nobody's outside during coronavirus here. So I'm breaking all the laws. I'm in reckless, out of control, endangering everyone's life, according to Dinsey and the others paid off to execute me since five years old. Um, I'm a public nuisance because I'm videoing myself joking around and talking about Thanksgiving and I don't have the right to talk into a camera about whether it be jokes, entertainment, my life, or anything else. I'm not, matter of fact, I'm not even allowed to own a camera because in 1996, taking a photography class at University of Colorado with Professor Nick and Chad Bowers, I'm a horrible monster for borrowing Chad Bowers' AE1, Canon AE-1 and taking a photography class and ruined everyone's life in Colorado by doing some stupid photography assignments, setting off Professor Nick that Kevin needs to die as well. Okay. And that's a whole other topic of why college professors were told to try to make me look crazy. Okay, so once again, um, because it's Thanksgiving, maybe they're saying that, that they're supposed to be giving me something. And maybe they're supposed to be giving me a girl or something at the beach. Or maybe, maybe it's an organic portal. I don't fucking know. Okay. <laughs> right, but you get the fucking idea that... All this pure anger and rage at Kevin Perlman for existing doesn't really make much sense. And clearly I'm the good guy in the situation. So what does what do these mass worldwide groups have to hide? Well, that is the question of all questions. But you shouldn't be looking at me about that. You should be looking at them and what their problem is and what their psychotic murdering behavior issues are, right? And they're racist, bigoted. If someone isn't perfect, they don't have the right to exist and need to be locked in mental institutions. Okay, so I'm gonna end it here. Happy Thanksgiving, peace, fuck you. Uh, I hope that someone gives you something, but technically, um, you were given this, this land. You were given all this land and actually, uh, technically we took it and fucked over the very people that uh, were nice enough to share things with us. Sounds interesting. So who are the real people that get fucked over? The nice people or the, or, the nice people or the greedy people? Well, it sounds to me like nice people get fucked over by greedy people and end up dead. Okay, so anyways, there you go. Uh, Kevin, the guy that was always, or is, or has always been giving and caring, is a target of a worldwide Extermination operation. Interesting. Maybe I should be an Indian. Okay. So anyways, uh, but not a Kelly Hatch Indian. Not a Kelly Hatch paid off psychotic murdering Indian. A good Indian. Okay. So there you go. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. I uh, hope the good decent people are out having a good Thanksgiving. And um, I'm just chilling at the beach and I'm sure there'll be a hundred thousand mental illness accusations we're chilling on a beach and getting some fresh air and trying to be healthy and out and outdoors and uh, watch, watching cool sunsets. I've just committed the staring at a cool sunset crime. So anyways, on that note, happy Thanksgiving um, and I'll be like my stalkers 
Take care. Have a good one. Bye bye. Okay. So, anyways, uh, there you go. Um, oh, and remember, I'm um, I'm on edge this holiday, and I need to be locked away as well. I'm sure that's a theory of theirs as well, uh, because of people sabotaging my car um, and costing me lots of money and shit like that. Okay. So, anyways, um, hey, in a positive note. All right, so happy Thanksgiving. Okay, so I just finished editing. I just finished editing the video here of just arriving on PCH and simply wanting to chill out and the mass hysteria. And I remember a lot of other things were going on. Um, I don't feel like getting into because I just want to focus. Whatever, uh, people trying to make me look crazy when the other demented things are going on are going on. Now, the first thing I thought about while editing is maybe this girl was was hinting that an organic portal is like a vagina. Well, I can guarantee you one thing she wasn't trying to pick up on me because the context, the context of my statement about people trying to make me look crazy and then her saying weird cryptic things kind of adds in to try to make me look crazy, but whatever. Okay, so I just wanted to do the closing segment, though, because this happens everywhere I go, and this happens since five years old. Now, obviously, there's nothing I've done wrong. I've simply driven to a beach to get some fresh air, chill out. We have stranger after stranger. Kevin's crazy because of this. Kevin's crazy because of that. I'm going to prove Kevin's crazy. I'm going to make Kevin look crazy. Kevin's not allowed to tell anyone he's not crazy, especially the psychology community, lawyers, police, or judicial system. This starts at five years old. Unexplainable from a crazy, psychotic father. Um, okay, that being said, um, now they're cover-up arguments. Well, Kevin's a public nuisance because he has a car DVR, or he has his handheld camera, or... He's, like earlier, I had my cell phone, I had my cell phone on a selfie stick, talking into the cell phone, videoing, and those dudes pretended, those dudes were looking for a justification to kind of dick with me, right? Okay, so then the police and judicial system and psychology community will say I'm reckless, out of control, crazy, and because I have a DVR in my car, because I'm talking into a cell phone, because I even have this camera and I go out and I might do photography and put the, the uh, camera on a tripod, or maybe I'll even walk around with it and do, whether it be candids or landscapes or buildings or stairs, it doesn't matter. They'll always have some kind of justification that I'm making mass groups hunt me and stalk me and try to provoke me and try to set me up and try to lock me in jail and mental institutions. Okay, so what is the point I'm making? That they will always have a cover-up argument why I'm the bad guy. No matter who I talk to, whether it's my mother, my father, my brother, my friends, the police, the psychology community, lawyers. Well, um, Kevin, you went to New York City and you had a nice pair of shoes on and that guy clubbed you over the head and stole all your money and clothes and it's your fault, Kevin, because you had nice shoes. Okay, you get the idea? Okay, so that's the argument that's being used on me, but that's the argument being used with the police and psychology community, which doesn't make sense, okay? Now, the only question that should be going through your head is why are the very people that are here to protect you and help you turning things around on me and trying to make me look crazy to make my extermination or locked in a mental institution or like I conform to media um, or weird things like organic portals which if I was in a bedroom with that chick and she said hey I have an organic portal I'd be like yeah baby show me okay you get the idea that things are out of context the way they're doing things are turn around the way they're doing things don't make sense Kevin's the bad guy Kevin got all of this on video, so Kevin made them do it. I'm trying to set them up, except the, the, the part where they're sort of, the truthful part that they're leaving out, if these mass groups weren't stalking me all day and night, on every level, from subliminal to aggressive, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have a, I wouldn't have a DVR in my car. They wouldn't get 
recorded and proof of the mass crime spree. So that's the point. And you can't you can't try to turn that around and if it was one man at this point being hunted by the majority of a planet, it, by getting proof of his innocence is the furthest furthest thing from a crime. And you heard it from those guys over there. I'm invading their privacy by pulling up to a beach. I invaded their privacy by pulling up to a beach and sarcastically joking around in my cell phone with a selfie stick. And because this happens so many goddamn times per day, year after year, they get caught on a car DVR, right? And then it's, look what you did to us. You set us up. Well, I'm not setting anyone up. That's like saying, that's like saying, if I put a security camera in my house or my office or my store and you come in and you try to rob my store, that I set you up. Well, the whole reasoning, the entire reasoning behind a security camera in a store is in case someone breaks in and robs the store, not to set robbers up, okay? So, but when the police and psychology community are telling you that you're crazy for putting a security camera in your store, now you know you got a real problem, and it's not about you, it's about someone that wants you dead and gone. Okay, so that being said, this whole insanity, this whole craziness, the whole Kevin suffers from mental illness, Kevin's a violent paranoid schizo, Kevin's imagining all this, none of this even happened today. I'm sure that's what the police would, and psychology community would say. Hence, it gets on video, because I don't like liars, and I don't, especially don't liar, like liars, that are latching on to me, trying to rid me of the world with mass organized stalking groups all across the entire planet. And I'm sure that everyone does agree it's something that they don't need to deal with. And if you sort of walk away from liar after liar and then they keep coming after you, you can't walk away from me. All of a sudden you have to start getting proof especially when you start getting thrown in jail and you get the death threats like from my brother that he's gonna throw me in a mental institution at 16 and crazy shit like this with all his friends and you keep telling people this is what's going on they go you're crazy and we're gonna rid you of the world okay so you get the idea that once again people getting caught trying to make me look crazy and then weaseling out of it oh poor us oh poor us and the problem that it really comes down to is it goes straight to the police and psychology community and my own father. And if you keep going to the police a hundred million times, here's proof, we refuse to look. You know there's something going on that is highly illegal. There's something going on that's highly illegal that they won't protect you, especially since five years old, and they try to make you look crazy for wanting their help. Okay. now. Believe it or not, this is an organization, the LAPD, that at one point before I knew what was going on sent me things for donations. And I actually did donate to the LAPD, small amounts, a little money, to show my respect. Okay, now I know that's not really part of this topic, but if the police are running around saying I hate the police and this and that, well then why were they taking my donations to say yeah, I believe in police work? This is really before this was really way before I knew that they sent Mike Huntley after me to execute me. Okay, so anyways, um, in let me rephrase that. Execute me in unheard of methods with psychological warfare to try to drive you crazy and lock you in cages or mental institutions. Okay, so I'm going to end it there. But once again, I just wanted sort of a closing segment that by me going out, joking around on a camera, not talking to one person, you see strangers start showing up. Kevin's out of his cage since five years old. We're going to rid him in the world. Okay, so that's pretty much it.